Hi everybody, welcome back. I went to the Dollar Tree, y'all, and I got kind of a lot of stuff. I The bill came to $26 and change, so yeah. We'll start with what I opened in the car. I got these Munch Rites. These are baked veggie puffs, and they're good. Oh my gosh. Um, no trans fat, no preservatives, gluten-free, no MSG. It says they're made with a blend of corn, bean, and potato. Basically, I just tasted potato, but they're really good, and you get 140 calories with every 26 pieces, and I'm sure I ate more than 26 pieces in the car. But they're really good. They look like a cheese puff. It tastes like a cheese puff. Not so cheesy, but a little other kind of spice, but they're really good. So, I highly recommend these. They're great. Baked veggie puffs. Alright, next thing I got is a water bottle. We use these every day in the laundry room. My husband sprays his clothes before he puts it in the dryer and that's how he fluffs them up for work. So every so often we need a new water bottle because he just manhandles them so much. And yeah, they had a bunch of these ones and then they had the regular tall plastic ones that you normally see in the cleaning aisle. But these were in kind of like the bath aisle next to the bath sponges, loofahs and stuff like that. And they had blue and pink. Next, I got this three-way light bulb. My mom, this is good for a dollar. My mom and I went shopping one day and she bought a nice light bulb. It was a Western family brand, so it was on the lower, the lower end of the spectrum. And I dropped it. As I was taking her groceries out of the car, that was the one and only bag I dropped and it was the light bulb sack, so I broke it. So I got her a new one. We'll see how it works. It's got a 50 watt and a 100 watt and 150 watt. Can't beat a three-way for a dollar. Oh, oh, I, almost, I almost knocked over my water bottle. Okay. I got some zest soap. I got it in the ocean breeze. It smells quite nice. I just thought, well, I needed another kind of pick-me-up in the shower, and this is a nice scent, I hope. It smelled different in the store, maybe, maybe, it's kind of hard to sniff through the box, but I'm pretty sure I liked it, so that's why I got it. I just want to make sure. Oh no, I think this is going to be too strong. I don't know, it kind of smells cologne -y. I don't want cologne -y. Oh, okay. It smells good. Okay, it smells fresh. It smells like an ocean breeze. Yeah, good. That's what I wanted. I needed some more dish soap, and so I got me the palm olive. And this is the 25% more for free. So yeah. I picked me one up. I love the smell. Takes me back to the 70s. Remember when, if you're old enough, if you're my age and you saw the commercial where Madge was sticking her, she's at the salon and she's sticking her, her fingers in a little bowl of palm olive. I think it's palm olive, right? <laughs> and she's like moisturizing her nails and her fingertips in the little thing of palm olive. I could be wrong because I was only like four, five, and six when I saw those commercials, but I'm pretty sure it was this. So that's what I always think of. I bought me a coconut juice. I've never had one of these, but every one of you who I've seen haul them love them. And it's a great big can. It's 16.5 fluid ounces, and there are little pieces of coconut at the bottom. 
Now, a while back, I bought some coconut water from the grocery store, not ever having it before, and it was gross because it was just, it wasn't sweetened, and it was almost kind of salty, and I couldn't even force it down. I took like two sips and I was done. But, um, 80 calories per serving. There are two servings per, per container, zero fat. So I want to try this right now and see what all the hubbub's about. Doesn't smell like anything. I hope I like it. Mmm. I got the bits on my tongue. It's sweet. I like this. This is much different than what I had. Contains 90% juice. Okay, I like it. And I like how you get floaters in your mouth. <laughs> they're not all down at the bottom. They're just floating around and the minute you take a drink, they're, they're in your mouth. So yeah, I like this a lot. And for a dollar, you cannot beat that, I'll tell ya says shake well and chill it before you open it. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. That's really good. I'm glad I bought it. I bought another one of these. I love these. Um, not only do I put snacks in this or dips and sauces, but I use these for a lid for my cat food. Let me show you. Every morning I open a can of cat food. It's the same size can as Fancy Feast, so you know they're little. And then I don't put it in the fridge when I'm done. I just leave it on the counter and then they'll have they'll finish it off at dinner time. And because they don't like wet, they don't like cold cat food for some reason. And so instead of having I used to use a little piece of tin foil and that would always get crusty and nasty. So I always just Put this on it. It fits just right and then it just stays on the counter. It's not too much of an eyesore. It just keeps it fresh and yeah. So that's basically what I use these for. I use this every day. But you know I also use them to put gummy bears in, sauces, little peanuts or whatever. So these are really great to have. They're really nice. I like them a lot. So, and the last thing in this sack is this bag of baggies. These are little garbage bags. Now these are very thin. Hold on, let me show you. I have some in here already. Sorry, I am just back and forth, back and forth. But here's a little bag of the same thing, but these are pink and these are scented. So this is vanilla, this is rose. And they do, they smell pretty pretty good. The rose one is really strong. Um, so as you'll see, they're really thin. They're very, very thin. And these would only be good for like a bathroom garbage, just a little tiny waste basket. You know, they're really small. And to throw your Q-tips in, your Kleenex, your cotton balls, stuff like that. These will totally rip and tear if you stick any hard edges in there and, and you're not careful. So these basically go in my, my bathroom in my little tiny waste basket just for that kind of thing. But I also use these for when I clean out the litter box. Every day I clean out the, the litter box, I scoop the poop. And um, I use these. These are great for that. And you get a lot in a bag. You get 50 of them. And so you can see my hand, they're totally paper thin. But these are just wonderful for like, if you have diapers that you need to get rid of, you know, pack some of these in your diaper bag 
and they're great for diapers or any kind of wet garbage as, as long as it's cloth you know and not sharp edges but this is great for litter box cleanup let me tell you so I actually bought one of these for my bathroom and then I bought another bag for litter box cleanup because I figured I was almost out of these even though I'm really not I probably have quite a bit on this roll left but so here's the other bag I bought and this one is in mountain air. It smells like mountain air. So that's what I get those for. So there's that bag. I got some cards. I got a Mother's Day card for my mom. And I got an anniversary card for my husband because our anniversary is coming up. And then I got a really cute Mother's Day card for my BFF. It says fabulous. And then on the inside it says every woman has something special about her. But with you, it's everything. Happy Mother's Day. So that's for my BFF. And the one for my mom says only the very best wishes will do. when they're made for someone as special as you. So there you have it. And then, oh, and then I got this card. It's just a, it's a missing you card. I don't know, I just thought of my BFF when I got it, so I'm probably gonna give it to her sometime. I was going to write, I miss you, all over this card. And then you open it up and it says, but I ran out of oink. <laughs> I ran out of oink. So I got some cards. If you ever need cards, go to the Dollar Tree. They have great cards, 50 cents or two for a dollar. And then the greater, the bigger ones, the nicer ones are a dollar. Awesome. I found these. These were the only things left in the kind of in the medical aisle with like toothpaste and medicine. And I saw somebody haul these. I can't remember who it was. And so I saw them and I got the last ones. And then I was like an, an aisle over, maybe 10 or 15 minutes later, and I heard this guy ask the checkout lady, do you have any travel containers to put like hair gel in and stuff like that? And I was like, I just grabbed the last one. So I hope you found something. I mean, you can even use little pill, the little round pill boxes that they have to put gel and lotion and stuff in. And I almost grabbed these out of my basket and said, here, you can have these. I grabbed the last ones. I really don't need them. But I didn't. They're just plastic. So I just grabbed them because I heard about them and they were the last ones. And I love little containers. So yeah, I got I got this um, seal gear that everybody's been picking up. You get two bags in here. Looks like there's a... Oh, wait, no, you get one. Sorry, I thought there were two. So you get one bag. And um, I don't know. I just got it because it was the last one. <laughs> and I guess you just... You put your stuff in and then you roll it up and then pinch it together and it... It just sort of keeps everything dry. And you never know. Daryl and I go to the cabin every summer, and sometimes it rains, and I might need to put something in this. I don't know. It's just good to have, right? Right. I, be, I got it because it was the last one. I know that's exactly why I got it. Then I picked up three of these um, picture frames. They had six by four and then they had seven by something and then they had five by seven. But they are just little picture frames to put your pictures in. So I bought three of those. And then the last thing in this bag, I bought a box of Cheez-Its, the white cheddar. Those look good. 
And I'll say it again, I do this every time, but I like to put this stuff in my purse or tote bag. And this is actually gonna go in my tote bag because it's big. But every now and then my blood sugar drops and I need a snack. So, and since I don't eat Mentos anymore, because all my teeth break, I figured a nice little white cheddar cracker would be a lot better for my teeth. So I got one of those. This was totally impulse, I'll admit it. And then, oh my goodness, in the party section, you know, like kind of where all the fancy plastic wear is for weddings and stuff, they have these little tongs. You get four in here. And I decided to get me a bag because it's good to eat Cheetos with tongs so you don't get orange fingers. My mom taught me that trick, but her tongs are better. She has little pickle tongs, they're little, little stainless steel pickle tongs. These are big old bulbous plastic ones, but that's all right. Let's see what these look like. Cute, just right. So yeah, they don't have a lot of spring to them, so, but that's okay. They're good for just little appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, or cheese puffs, or Cheetos. So yeah, you get four. So four for a dollar, can't beat that. Excited about those. And then I got two stick ups. You know, I love these. And I've got garbage cans in my bathroom, and they both have lids. And so I'm just going to stick one on the inside of the lid so that when I open the lid, it smells fresh. Stick up. And for a dollar? And this smells like a nice orange citrus. It smells really nice. So I'm glad that they have these in their airway. You can stick them anywhere. And then I got two of these. My friend Amy from Away Girl. I think these are the ones she buys. Are these the ones you buy, Amy? B12 shots? I usually don't buy these anymore. I used to get energy shots like this all the time, but sometimes they make me sick. But I was just like, why not? Just try. I've never had the B12 ones, and it's got a side pomegranate. So, away girl, if these are the ones, let me know. Because, yeah, I would like to try one. And anyway, I should try one right now. Ooh, should I try one right now? I'm kind of tie tie. Like maybe this would pet me up. I wonder what flavor it is. I wonder if a side pomegranate is the flavor. I don't know. Because I usually get grape flavored energy drinks. And sometimes I'll just drink half. And then I'll take another half later. That's some strong stuff. It's good. It's hard to drink out of these things. Okay, I think that was about half. Maybe I'll try the other half later. It's good. Not bad at all. Kind of a berry flavor. Kind of tart. Um. I always need plastic spoons. I got these in the party section. I am weird, but when I eat yogurt, I love to eat them with a plastic spoon. So that's what I do. I put these in a little separate drawer in the kitchen, and when I have my yogurt, I use a plastic spoon. Um, even when I eat cottage cheese, fluff, you know, I put jello powder, cottage cheese, and Cool Whip, and stir it all around. I like to eat it with a plastic spoon. Anything parfait-ish, or dessert-ish, yogurt-ish, 
I eat it with a plastic spoon. I got one of those. We're down to the last two things. Oh, bummer. Um, I got this Fresh Sensations carpet powder. This smells good. It's Island Mist. I had never seen it before. And I took a Swift and it smells nice. Um, I'm excited to use this. I'll probably vacuum my floor today and I'm going to use this. So I'm excited. I love when I have clean, fresh smelling carpet. I know you're not supposed to put this stuff on your carpet like all the time. I've heard it's just bad for your carpet pad and stuff because you know a lot of the times the vacuum doesn't suck all the powder up all the time and it can not be that great for your carpet. So I don't do it all the time but every now and then I'll I'll sprinkle some on just for to get it kind of clean and stuff. And the last thing I bought, I hope Daryl likes it, I got something for him. It's this VO5 Men's 3-in-1. It's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I know that he likes to use body wash. Like sometimes he'll just use body wash for shampoo. And one time he was just using bar soap for shampoo. And then we have like all the shampoo in there. And I'm like, what are you doing? Because I could smell like his hair didn't smell that clean. It, it, I could tell he used just a plain old bar of soap. And so um, I told him, don't do that anymore. You gotta use shampoo. But maybe since this is like an all-in-one thing and you don't have to use this and that and the other, he'll enjoy it. And they had a blue one and this green one, and the green one smells so good. This one's called Fresh Energy. I don't know if the blue one was called that or something else, but this smells good. It almost smells kind of like pine and cologne put together. It'll smell nice in the shower and it's strong and so I'm sure it'll smell really good in the shower and it'll leave a nice after scent when he gets out. It'll kind of linger I'm sure. So I hope he likes it. A dollar. So yeah, that was my Dollar Tree everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I know I did. I just love going there. So have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Bye.